Hello, first certificate. So, how are you all in week three? Going crazy yet? Yeah, me too. Okay, so today we're going to look at pages 68 and 69. On page 68, there is some speaking part for part four, which is obviously the interactive task. So when we get back to the academy, hopefully, we'll come back and do the speaking part. But we are going to look at the, the grammar and vocabulary. All right. So we're starting on page 68, exercise one, looking at articles. OK, so articles are a, an and the. So first of all, in exercise one, can you complete the rules with the, no article, or a and an? OK, so pause the video, then come back and we'll check your answers and go through the grammar. OK, so good luck and pause now. Right, what did you have then? So for number one, we use a or an. Number two, we use the. And number three, no article. All right, let's go through them a little bit. OK, if I have enough space. So let's start with a and an. All right, can you see it? bit difficult with the light hopefully that's okay so we use a or an with single singular countable nouns when we talk about something for the first time when we mention it or say it again we use the look at this example okay there is a bar in Santa de Pena the bar is called Casa Cartello Okay, so the first time I talk about the bar, I use a or an. When I talk about it again, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, we use the. We also use a or an with jobs. I'm a teacher. What's your job? An economist. Okay. We also use a or an with some number expressions. A quarter for example. All right. Now we use the for the mentioning something again. Also, if something is obvious, okay, I'm the victim of a crime, I'm going to the police station. Obviously, I'm not going to the police station in Madrid. It'll be the one that is closest to me. We use the when there's only one of something, the sun the king of Spain. We use the with superlatives, the biggest, the best. With inventions, look back at the, which page was it when we were talking about the microwave? It's an invention, so we use the. Types of animals, musical instruments, and groups of people, the young the elderly, for example. Now we don't use an article, whoa, hitting myself. <laughs> we don't use an article when we talk in general about things. We use a plural form. For example, dogs are cool, cats are a little bit weird. The next one then, with abstract nouns, no article. With sports, I like the football, no, I like football. With some illnesses, for example, I've got flu. And also expressions with two, when we use work, bed or school, okay? What time do you go to the bed? No, what time do you go to bed? When do you go to work? Okay, so with work, bed and school, we don't use an article. All right? Oh, not bad every day. <laughs> so, now we know the rules, okay? I'd like you to have a look at exercise two and three. In exercise two, you need to correct the mistakes that were written by exam candidates. And in number three, complete the, uh, the gaps with a, an, the, or nothing. 
all right. When you finish, all right, so press pause. When you finish, come back and I'll go through the answers with you. No cheating, pause and then come back. All right, good luck and pause now. Okay, we're back. So let's have a look at exercise two. Okay, I'm going to read the correct sentence for you. Number one, I have just recovered from flu. Number two, I think one of the most important inventions is the telephone. Number three, he was an officer in the army. Number four, I think cars are the greatest danger of all. Number five, there was a 7.8% increase in sales last year. Number six, I enjoy riding more than playing the piano. Number seven, I am an engineer in Shanghai. And number eight, I must tell you, I found a very interesting job. Okay, all correct? Excellent. So exercise three then, A, am, the, or nothing. Okay, so first, Lena. I think geology would be the most interesting science to study. It's a pity we don't do it at school because I like the idea of becoming a geologist. Felix. I think the one that appeals to me most is zoology. It'd be fantastic to get a job in the countryside in Africa studying animals like the lion or leopard. Did you get them all correct? Perfect. Now if you have any questions or any doubts, obviously you can email me. Also, if you look at page 110 in your book, the grammar reference, it goes through some of these articles. Okay? But let's move on now and have a look at some vocabulary. All right, on page 69, looking at collocations. Now, collocations are words which go together. Okay? For example, if I say long, blonde, what would you say? Hair. Exactly, because these are words which commonly go together. So if you look at exercise one on page 69, in box A is the first part of some collocations, and in B is the second part of the collocations, all to do with science and technology. All right, so once again, hit pause. Can you match the collocations? Then press play and we'll go through the answers. All right. Okay, we're back. So, what do we have first of all? We have attach a file, browse websites, carry out an experiment, charge a mobile phone, prove a theory, run a program, store data, and undo a change. Be careful with the spelling here with run a program. When we're talking about a computer program, P-R-O-G-R-A-M. When we talk about a TV program, the end is double M and E. Okay, so be careful with the spelling of that, depending on if it's for a computer or science or if it's for TV, okay? So now, in exercise two, we're looking again at some collocations. Fairly simple, you need to complete the sentence with the correct option, A, B, C, or D. But also, underline the word or words in the sentence that the answer collocates with. Let's look at number one as an example. Zena's voice was very... Mm, over the phone. I could hardly hear her. The four options are faint, pale, dull and faded. 
Here, the correct option is faint. Okay? And faint collocates with voice. Okay? A faint voice means very quiet and I can't hear very well. All right? So we would choose the correct option A and underline voice in the sentence. All right? So once again, hit pause, do the exercise, and then come back to the answers. All right? Good luck. Hit pause. Right, let's go through them then. So we have number two, which is close any applications like word processing before shutting down your computer. And applications collocates with close. Number three then, it's easy to display the text on the screen and the collocation is with screen. Number four, my PC crashed and wouldn't start up at all. Crashed collocates with PC. Number five, 13 times 17 is 221, I think. And times collocates with both numbers, 13 and 17. Number six, the accident was caused by a combination of poor maintenance and human error. And the collocation is with of. And number seven, I've got a computer bug so I'm going to run the antivirus software and bug collocates with computer. Okay. So, looking at the reading and use of English part one. Okay, you have a text which has eight spaces in it which you need to complete with the correct option A, B, C or D. Before we do the exam task, look at the quick steps. All right. Prepare by noting collocations, for example, scientific discovery, in your vocabulary notebook. All right, collocations, it's really worth noting them down together whenever you hear them. Look for collocations formed by words before or after the gap. Okay, so the exam tip, writing in the example word can help you understand the text when you read it through. Remember, when you finish, it's important that you read through the entire text to make sure it makes sense. All right? So now here is your opportunity to do the exam task. Okay? For each of the spaces, choose the correct option, A, B, C, or D. And when we finish, we'll go through the answers. Okay? So press pause now. Right, how did you do? Did you find lots of collocations? Yeah. So I'm going to read now the text with the correct answers. Okay? So what on earth would we do without satellites? Since the first satellites were launched by rocket over 50 years ago, the number of communications satellites in space has increased enormously. As part of global positioning systems, they tell us where we are on the planet and can help save lives by, for instance, directing the emergency services to the scene of an accident. Satellites are essential for accurate weather forecasting and also for space exploration. Because they are above the Earth's atmosphere, right on the edge of outer space, telescopes on satellites can see distant objects up to 10 times more clearly than they could from the surface of the Earth. We rely too on satellites to make long distance phone calls and in some remote regions, they make it possible for us to access the internet. And of course, Many people watch TV programs broadcast from the other side of the world thanks to satellites, which enable us to watch hundreds of channels in a whole variety of languages. How did you do? A lot of collocations there. Now be careful with number seven. You didn't put A, did you? Connect. No, because if it was connect, 
we would need connect to the internet. Okay? And that's it for today's class. I will see you on Wednesday when I'll be giving you quite a lot of homework because over Semana Santa there are no video classes. Alright, so goodbye and see you on Wednesday. Bye!